What is up, F and True followers and the members of the YWC JC Styles here, F and True Entertainment, with a video game review for you tonight. Now, we remember N64 very well, and we remember the games that you know we grew up playing: Super Mario 64, Mario Kart 64, Wave Race, we Cruising USA, Cruising World. You know, but you look back at N64. And you don't think Super Mario, you don't think even Wipeout, Wave Race, Extreme G, you don't think of all the, any of those games. One game comes to mind, and it was dropped on August of 1997, GoldenEye 007, off of Ian Fleming's James Bond, James, off of Ian Fleming's film James Bond and GoldenEye, where you. James Bond took on uh, to prevent a syndicate from using a satellite weapon f to for financial melt, uh, global meltdown. Now, 14 years later, we saw in the last 14 years we saw so many different GoldenEye games. We saw so many of the James Bond games. We saw Tomorrow Never Dies. The world is not enough. We saw. 007 uh, Agent Under Fire. We saw 007 Night Fire. We even seen Daniel Craig and Quantum of Solace. Bloodstone. Now, for, fast forward 14 years later, we have yet the reamped remake of GoldenEye. And I am talking about GoldenEye 007 Reloaded on PlayStation 3, Xbox 360, and Nintendo Wii. You know, I'm upset that they didn't go back and get Pierce Brosnan to do the facial construction. I'm surprised that they didn't go back and try to get the original cast from 007 GoldenEye's film. You know, you, like in uh, the N64 version, you had Pierce Brosnan, and you had F Fomka Jansen, who played uh, Cena on the top, you know, Natalia, you know, all the, the key characters, but, you know, this was a fantastic game, a little short, but very fantastic, you know, it had its nostalgic factor, and the, the thing about this game, and I was kind of shocked when I found this out, was that this came out this past Tuesday, November 1st, now, I'm shocked because there was very little publicity for this game. You know, there was not that much for it. You know, there's just so much out there, so many games. You had Battlefield 3, you know, you, you, you got, you had Rage, you know, there were so many games coming out, and this just slept through the cracks. And the funny story about this was I went to game, I went to Best Buy with Brian, and I seen a big cardboard cutout of Daniel Craig, which is the the gentleman who played James Bond in Casino Royale and Quantum of Solace. And he had the, the gun in his hand, and it was him in the James Bond suit, but he was holding the PlayStation Move controller. And I'm like, no, nah, that can't be. James GoldenEye's not out yet. It's not out for like another couple of weeks. And I picked up the box, and it actually had, the game was actually out, and I was shocked to see it. Uh, this game was pretty good, a little short. Uh, the online aspect is very fun. You have Golden Gun Mode. You have M MI6 Ops, which is kind of like Spec Ops from Call of Duty, but with James Bond. You do all these little side quests, side missions, you know, to earn, you know, stars to unlock some of the classic characters like Odd Job, uh, Lockjaw, you know, Goldfinger, you know, uh, the villain from, from Watch Over With Love. You know, there's just a lot of stuff going into this game. And, you know, there was a little bit of nostalgia factor in this game, like I was saying earlier in this video. You had, uh, you know, there was little key moments you know, you, you in the game that you remember from the from the original that they kept in, um, when you get to the dam, uh, and he he jumps off the, the Hoover Dam to go into the facility, uh, where you, we see the death of 
or what we quote unquote see the death of 006, which we find out for those of you who followed the Golden Eye movie and who remember the original plot, uh, was the leader of the Yanis group, which was a secret, uh, a secret group who were trying to launch GoldenEye so he can uh, reap all the benefits, money attacking the bank accounts, uh, the stock market, Wall Street, all that stuff. And, you know, and this game was really great. I'll just read off the back. Well, there's not really much to read off the back, actually. Um, is one to four players uh, offline, online two to 18 players. Uh... You know, there's just so many things about this game. You know, obviously, it's my game is in the Xbox 360. So, you know, that's what the inside looks like. The, the instruction booklet, just basically like what the cover looks like. And uh, NHL 12 is in here because of Golden Eye is in the Xbox 360. I actually just beat the game, and I have to tell you, for anyone who was a big fan of the 007 Golden Eye game back in the day, I would definitely recommend picking this up. Uh, rent it first, see if you like it, then decide if you want to buy it. Reason why I say that is just because I went ahead and bought it, thinking it was going to be, you know, groundbreaking. And I was, like I said, I was a little disappointed with it, but it was definitely worth the purchase, just for the nostalgic factor, because GoldenEye for uh, back uh, in '97 revolutionized first-person shooters. You know, you had Doom and Quake on the plate on the PC, and then it jumped over to the platform, which was Expo, which was PlayStation One. Um, but GoldenEye set the bar a little bit higher. Not until 2001, I believe it was, when Halo Combat Evolved came out. Which that's a video for a week from Tuesday. On top of that, while we're on the subject of video games, uh, yours truly, JC Styles, will be attending the midnight release for Modern Warfare 3. So please uh, stay tuned for that unbagging slash unboxing slash unveiling. I am going to take my Motorola Triumph with me, which for those of you, I do have a cell phone again. I'm going to take this. It has a 5 megapixel camera on the back with built in flash. I'm going to try to make a couple of videos, document the night. I uh, will be going with my cousin. Unfortunately, uh, Brian put his money towards Halo Combat Evolved, but he will be picking up Modern Warfare 3 down the line. So, guys, thanks for tuning in. Like I said, go pick this up, go rent it, hit me up. JC Space X Space Styles. I will put my link in the description box. I mean, my gamer tag in the description box down below. Please send me a friend request. I love communicating with you guys and talking with you guys on Xbox and, you know, enjoying a couple of games. Maybe we can meet up on GoldenEye if you have it. And uh, take care, and we'll see you later in the week.